Hello and welcome to another video. I just wanted to show you really, this isn't a review or anything like that, so if you want any real special information, there's several other videos on these boots. I just wanted to show these, uh, these boots to the people on my channel who are interested and my thoughts into why I got this particular boot. I'm heading up to Scotland with Chris Townsend sometime in the next few weeks, hopefully a few times for some snow, camping and walking. And I've got this old pair of Solomon boots, which I haven't really used for hiking. I have used them in cold weather, but that's a different story. Um, you know, and they've done, they've done very well. You know, they're in, still in good condition, but the grip isn't the grippiest, but it's pretty decent. But I must admit, I just wanted something, I just wanted something new, really. So I thought, well, we'll put those to one side. And I was kind of like sort of thinking, well, what can I, what could I get that I could, you know, take up to Scotland? Well, if you watch my other video on shoes, which will probably come out before this one. And then you'll notice that I, I quite like um, Innovate and La Sportiva. And what I will just say straight away is La Sportiva, it's quite a narrow boot. It's not a wide fitting boot. So if you've got narrow, sorry, so if you've got wide feet, um, it's probably not for you. If you've got wide feet, then, uh, then I would look at, <laughs> I'd look at something else something a little bit wider for you because uh, La Sportiva, I think, personally, I think, runs on the on the narrower side. I went for this boot uh, because it seems to be a step up from the Trango, Trangio um, boot that I have. It's got a ridiculously aggressive lug on the base, I really do like that that grip. That's that's one heck of a grip on that. And then the grip on the on the back there. I mean, you know, you could literally stand your finger in there. It is such, you know, that's a very very aggressive. <laughs> that's a very aggressive grip at the back. They call that a braking system or something like that. But we will. We will see what it's like. I've not worn this one. The other boots in the previous video, I've obviously worn all of those and I know them very well. I haven't worn this one yet, so I can't really say a huge amount about it, but I went with this one. I went with the LT version. They do an, an, an no, it's not ST. They do an, an S, oh my God. I'm telling you, there's no hope. They do an SL version, which is uh, synthetic, or is it ST? Synthetic, is it SL or is it ST? It is, it is ST, isn't it? <laughs> it is synthetic, it is ST, I think. It is, isn't it? Let <laughs> me just have a, it is ST and all, in it? it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll, we'll move on swiftly from that. So they do an ST version, and it's not, it's not one for the ladies or anything like that. Um, but it's a, oh God, but it's a, can't even speak now properly. It's a synthetic version. I try to keep it clean for two seconds, don't you? It's a synthetic version, um, ST, it's for, it's for synthetic. Um, this is LT, is this is LT for L, um, L, L, R, or whatever it is for, for leather. Um, I've gone and lost the plot completely now. Anyway, this is the leather version, LT. LT? LT for leather. Oh, LT, L, 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 F, yeah, LT, yeah. So this is the LT leather, and then they do an, an, an SL version, an ST version as well. We've lost it completely now. They've all, they've all completely gone now, um, Lassie. So you've got, like I said, a very, very aggressive sole on the bottom. You've got, there's a little bit of flex in it. It flexes a little, not a huge amount. 
um, lateral movement, a little, not a huge amount, but a little. A little bit of movement there, but not very much. It's a pretty strong, solid um, boot. It has a 3D flex, which is something to do with this here. So it's still quite flexible, you know, there. So, you know, there's quite a bit of flex. So you're not gonna get, you know, massive ankle support. It will kind of help your ankle, but like I said, personally, I think ankle support, I think it's a little bit of a myth, you know, to be honest, but I think you, the bit that looks after your foot isn't so much the ankle support, because <laughs> there isn't any in most boots. In most boots, there isn't ankle support. But anyway, that's a, a story for another time. But what does look after your foot is making sure that you, you, you know, is making sure that the boot fits, you know, fits properly and that your heel is seated and laced up. I've even got a video on lacing as well. Um, and, and laced and secured in position because it's your, it's basically your heel that's looking after you more than the, you know, more than the ankle. So really, really important to get your feet measured and make sure that they fit comfortably. You want to have your toe just forward of the end, not touching. So when you're going downhill, you're not bumping in, um, you know, your toe is not bumping. But you don't want to obviously too far back because if it's too small, your heel is going to lift. Um, if you see my other video, then you will know that I like um, uh, super feet. So I've taken out the insole that was with them and I've put I put super feet in because I'm a bit of a, a bit of a fan on super feet. I think I think they help a lot. I've done a video on super feet. Yeah, I mean this this super feet is cut to my foot and it's pretty much exactly the size of my foot and there is a little bit of gap at the front, um, maybe about half a centimeter, something like that. So this is a 43. I always just tend to go 43 and I find that 43 just fits my feet generally in, in, in most shoes, boots. I'll show you the lacing system. So here you've got a black one and a yellow one. So I'm guessing when you're doing the map, if you get a little bit confused as to which one's which and it's, you know, cold or something like that, then easier to identify them, then you get three quick release points there. So I think that's nice. The bottom ones are the, are the holes that just go through so you can't, they can't be quick released. The only thing I will say is just be careful that you don't damage your laces or anything like that because if you do damage this lace, it looks to me like the lace is actually sewn in down the bottom, down there. So I don't think, I mean, I've never personally damaged any laces, so I don't think it's a problem. But if you are prone to wrecking your laces somehow or other, then just be aware you can't change these laces. These laces are fixed in place, which is unusual, but I don't think it's a problem. These are waterproof. Obviously it's, it's a Gore-Tex um, lining in them. And they are waterproof right to the top. So, you know, that's, your whole boot could go in that much and water isn't in theory gonna get in to you. If you wear gaiters or something like that over the top, then that will add even more as well. The weight on these, these are, about, this is a 43. These are around about 720-ish grams. These are around about 680, 685 grams, something like that. So, so this is a little bit heavier, but you know, literally like 20 or 30 grams when I, when I checked it, I can't remember the exact weight, but when I checked it, 
and I compared the two, it was like, like 30 grams in it, so really not very much in it. And this is a significantly better, nicer boot. Like I said, I've not worn them, so I can't really say a huge amount about them. I just wanted to show them to you, really. And some people might be interested. And I'll just show you this, because I've seen a few videos on these. Like I said, if you want all the specs, then there are other videos that give you the specs. But I haven't seen another video that's put these. And this is a dining room table, but I don't think we'll worry about that too much. Um, I don't think anyone's put these in. Spikes. So, we will do that. These are Catula KTS, I think. <laughs> It does fit. That was a bit fiddly. Like I said, I'm not used to fitting crampons to boots. It's not something I've I've done very much. But we all we all live and learn. That. So that's a Catula spike. So you've got two, four, six, eight. 10. I have actually ordered from Catula um, plates to go on the bottom to remove snow. So that's something I have ordered. They didn't come with that surprisingly, but I'd bought these, but I bought these back from America from America probably six, seven, eight years ago. Never used them yet. So I think this winter I will I will get to use them. So let's see where's the we can get that one on a little bit better. Yeah. And then we got the lace caught up under there, it's typical. And that one does up there. Obviously there's that little bit there needs to be put away, but that's a Catula crampon fitted on Ooh, that definitely <laughs> that definitely adds a little bit of weight I don't know I don't know how heavy that is now I'll maybe weigh it and then I'll add a weight on the screen so this particular boot here it has a Vibram sole it's a b2 boot and it's compatible with semi-automatic crampons there's some there's some thickness to them, not a huge amount, but there is some thickness to them. So I do think they will be hopefully, you know, warm enough, you know, in the snow and everything, you know. It's difficult to tell what the thickness is, but there is definitely some millimeters between, you know, there's some millimeters there. You obviously got the, you know, the new buck leather on the outside, which is like a suede because you can kind of, you, you could make, you could probably spell an MLD on there, I would have thought. <laughs> so you've obviously got the, the leather on the outside, then you'd have the Gore-Tex lining, and then there's a lining, you know, on the, on the inside. So there's definitely, there's definitely some there's definitely some thickness to it, but it, like I said, it's not very much, but there's definitely some padding there. Unlike my very low trail runners that I like the most, you're definitely some way off the ground in these. Your heel is probably, your heel probably is up 
here, something like that. You know, you're definitely, you're definitely a little further off the ground in this. So yeah, and then I don't know what the rise would be on this. Maybe maybe a centimeter, but I don't know. Um, but you definitely rise from there to about there at the back, you know, give or take a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely there. It definitely rides up there a little bit. So it's not a flat boot, but you know, we know it's not going to be flat anyway. The collar is quite well padded. There's a lot of padding on the collar. There's a lot of padding on the collar there. These are not the socks that I would normally wear. They're fairly easy to get on, but because the, the tongue comes all the way to the top there, you do have to just get your foot in. But your foot does fit in, you know, quite, quite well there. It's cosy, you know. Like I said, if you've got a wide foot, then these most definitely are not... These definitely are not for you. You could do them up like that, all the way up tight, or if you want to lock your foot in place, then you could put a locker in, in there, and then take that up there. And it doesn't really bunch up. I just I have heard some people say that it bunches up, but it doesn't really. Pretty decent fit there. It certainly feels very cozy and warm. I'll just show you this because I just noticed this. I think this is part of the 3D flex that it has. And I just noticed that when, when you do flex your ankle inside, this bit here does kind of close in there. There's obviously something going on, you know, in in there. And yeah, because this side you've got this funny material -y stuff here. And then on the other side, you kind of got this type of pattern thing going on here it does feel nice and of course actually when your foot is you know, when your foot is moving it'll be interesting to see how the Gore-Tex gets on in there because actually as you can see when you when the foot moves this bit here closes in together so you don't notice it so much when you're just looking at it when your foot's moving when the ankle's moving this bit here is like, kind of like articulated. It's kind of unusual. <sighs> it's just me so who's going to complain. And that's my slipper. <laughs> I, can, I can just, I can hear my grandfather and my granny up above. Don't really get your feet off the table. So we will do such. That's the La Sportiva Equilibrium. Like I said, I will be wearing these in the Peak District. So by the time you see this video, I would have been, I would have used them, you know, for at least one trip. And I'll let you know what I think of them. They are, they're not the cheapest of boots. Um, I did get a little bit of a discount off them. Um, but you know, I will let you know, I will let you know what I, what I think of them. But I must admit, first impressions, is very very nice. Does anyone have sniff? Anyone have sniff? <laughs> get, get involved in getting high on sniffing brand new boots. Mm. <laughs> there's really there's there's really some some nice powder in there. <laughs> no, there isn't. God. Oh, Tony, you're always completely misbehaving every single time. Just I can't do a proper video. Anyway, oh, just one other thing that I'll just show you. So you've got leather here, here, and then around the top there. On the inside, you've got this. 
quite rough material here. I don't know what it is, but you've got this quite rough material here. It's a really, really hardy boot. Obviously the, the front is covered with this plastic here. You've got this, this material here. And your, your foot, like I said, your foot is just below that material down to about here. Get this down to about there. And then on this side, the outside, you've got this type of material here. So it's like a like a criss crisscross type of material. I don't know what the materials are to be fair. But yeah, I'm rather looking forward to bloody hell, 30 minutes, just some bloody boots. And we haven't learnt anything, have we? They're just a nice pair of boots that smell nice. Anyway. I shut up there. <sighs> There's no hope. There's no hope for me in this channel. There's no hope. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the trail soon. Take care. Thanks very much. See you in the next video.